This is K2 News, the spirit of the Northwest. It's been another banner year for Northwest Salmon. September's heavy rains have brought a heavy run of the prized fish into Oregon streams. But in a two-exclusive report, Hitch's Grant McCombie shows us the abundant salmon have created problems for game wardens who respond to complaints of salmon snagging on the Sandy River. The crew handling the salmon at the Sandy River Hatchery haven't seen so many coho salmon return so early in years. The run started last week, and more than 6,000 coho have come back to the hatchery. Nice, big, healthy, chrome-bright coho. The catch rate is, you know, early last week was phenomenal. I'd say 90% of the anglers had their, their two-fish limit. Plants in the nearby Cedar Creek, you can see dozens of salmon, their backsides exposed as they try to swim to the hatchery. Cedar Creek is so low and clear and the salmon so vulnerable, you can understand why this is closed waters. But the people who were down here just a week ago thought they were in heaven. They took a big dip net, scooped out about a dozen salmon. Trouble was, they made a big mistake and walked right through the hatchery grounds. That's where these two men were caught by officers. Yevgeny Mikhailov and Anatoly Dumitrosh had illegally taken eight salmon and five steelhead from the closed creek. Each man faces a Class A misdemeanor charge with fines to $7,500. It's very unusual because it's right behind the hatcher workers' houses, so I mean, you would have to be pretty bold to do it right there in front of them. Since last week, Sergeant Chris Lorry and Trooper Mike Hansen have kept close watch on the Sandy River and Cedar Creek to make sure anglers play by the rules. We're here because of past complaints and like this fish that's coming in tail first. Uh, they're just line bumping, setting the hook, using corkies, a lot of foul hookings going on. There are so many fish in the river that are confined to a small space. Hansen says he'll count a dozen tail snag salmon for everyone that's hooked in the mouth. And there have been other problems too. Get a few people without tags, a few no angling license, a fair number of fail to validates, and uh, a few keeping foul hooked fish and then a few intentional snaggers. Now, Lori says for the most part, anglers obey the law and put the snag salmon back. He thinks word of last week's arrest helped make a difference. Cell phones do work in this area, and that's where we do get our complaints. So I think maybe people are thinking that, you know, hey, this is the right thing to do. Let's just let the fish go. There's plenty more that can be legally caught. And plenty of eyes that will be watching to make sure that's the case. Along the Sandy River, Grant McCombie, K2 News.